Hi, my name is David Steele. I'm a product manager at Arcturus. Today I want to tell you about some of the exciting new things we've got for release three of our Embark's middleware for Kinetis. So the first thing we have available are two daughter cards that, are, uh, that you can order for the development kit. Uh, one is a GPIO extender daughter card, so it has LEDs and push buttons. And the other one is a Wi-Fi module, which extends the capability of the UCMK60 uh, development kit and SSB dev board to use uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. And it's powered with a GT202 module, which uses a Qualcomm QCA4002 low power uh, chipset. So all I need to do, all I've got set up here right now is just my standard uh, out of the box uh, tutorial. Uh, I've got uh, an, an IP phone, I've got my uh, SSB dev board from the development kit, and I've got my PC, and it's got uh, System Manager installed in it. And you know, I can press a button and, and call my, uh, call my uh, IP phone. So now what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to uh, install the, uh, the card here for Wi-Fi and uh, configure it up to, to use the Wi-Fi network instead of the Ethernet. So the first thing I'm going to do is just power off my board. Then I'm going to carefully uh, seat my module here. Make sure that it's attached properly. There we go. I'm going to uh, power up the board now. You'll notice I'm still using the Ethernet network. Uh, I need to configure some parameters first using the Ethernet side. You know, the uh, SSID for the Wi-Fi network I want to connect to and also the passphrase. And I'm going to do that using System Manager. So this gives me a great chance to uh, show you some of the new features that are available in Release 5 of uh, System Manager as well. So why don't we just uh, jump into my laptop here and uh, I can show you how that works. So this is the System Manager application. It's used for site-wide configuration and uh, management of our tourist devices. And a free eval copy is available with the uh, purchase of the development kit. And those of you who have the development kit already will be pretty familiar with this tool. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got a list of all of the devices that are on my network. They uh, automatically appear inside System Manager. Now, I've labeled my device Dave. And there it is, so I can just filter for that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the firmware over. Right now it's using firmware called uh, the PIP mode, which is our standard voice over IP mode. We need to change that mode to support the Wi-Fi daughter card, and I'm going to upload the PIP W mode. Now, traditionally, the way to do this in System Manager is you would go to your repository, and then I would drag and drop the file, the pipw.embarks file, into my repository, and it would appear there. And in fact, I do actually have one. But this gives me a good opportunity to show you one of the cool new features we've actually got in System Manager, which is called the System Manager Store. So I'm just going to click on the store, and this brings up an interface. And as you can see in the interface here, we've got a whole bunch of software. Uh, I'm just going to filter this down, so we're just showing the K60 versions. And uh, there we go. And now I'm just going to give you an example of how easy it is to get firmware from us. For example, I can just select this uh, version of firmware, which is uh, a version of the PIP firmware. It's just going to ask me to accept uh, the uh, software license agreement. So I'm going to download it automatically, put it in my firmware repository for me. And uh, the little star in the repository shows me that, in fact, it's there. So now I'm going to just uh, go back to my device, which I have here. I'm going to click on the Upgrade button. I'm going to select that PIPW firmware. I'm going to start the firmware upgrade process. I'm just going to click because uh, I've got a newer version of firmware that is on there already. So it's going to upgrade my, uh, my PIPW uh, firmware so that I can use the wireless mode. And, uh, and then we'll configure the settings in the wireless uh, firmware so that it will access the wireless access point that we need it to, the SSID, and also the passphrase. So what you'll notice uh, is that as the device reboots, uh, it will come up with uh, a different firmware revision. So now that I can see that it's running the PIPW firmware revision, and I can also see that the upgrade succeeded. So that's great. Now I know that I'm running the wireless software. So now I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the device, and that's going to open up the configuration panel. So I'm still connected, you know, just using the regular Ethernet uh, connection. I'm just going to use that Ethernet connection to set up the Wi-Fi for the first time. So uh, what I see here on my network uh, tab under the configuration panel is uh, two fields for wireless SSID and wireless SSID passphrase. I'm just going to drop down the menu for the wireless SSID. And I can see that my Wi-Fi daughter card is already working for me because I can see all of the available uh, networks that are in my vicinity. So I'm just going to click on the one that I want to use, and then I'm going to enter the passphrase that I need. 
And then before I press apply, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check the rest of my settings. And in this case, uh, I don't need to make any other changes. For example, my voice over IP account um, is, is going to be fine because my wired and wireless networks are actually bridged on the network that I'm using. So I don't need to change any of those settings. And then I'm just going to press apply. And I'll save those uh, values. And then the device is going to restart. Great, so now that I've uh, uploaded the PIPW firmware and I've configured my wireless SSID and passphrase, what I can do next is I can just uh, disconnect the Ethernet network and I'm going to reapply power. And what should happen is the device will reboot and when it reboots, it's going to detect that no Ethernet cable is plugged in. And when it detects no Ethernet cables plugged in, it's going to start to try to use the Wi-Fi. So it'll look for the SSID that we uh, configured before and then try to log in using that passphrase. And fortunately, since we've got the SIP credentials all pre-configured and that network is uh, transparent, so the Wi-Fi and the wired are the same on, on, on my particular configuration, it should log into that server and start to use that uh, right away. So what we can do is we can just have a look. Uh, I can see now that I've got output number one is, is lit up. That means that we're registered and ready to go. I'm just going to reach down here, grab my, uh, grab my headset, and uh, plug that into the, to the microphone left input here as well. And that way we can just sort of call my phone. There we go. And let's put this on speaker. And uh, you should be able to hear my voice coming across there. So that's how you configure the uh, Wi-Fi daughter card that's now available for wireless connectivity using the UCMK60 as part of our daughter card accessory pack as part of release three of our Embark's uh, middleware for Kinetis. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please check out arcturusnetworks.com and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.